Hello everyone, my name is Shankar. I'm working as a threat researcher at Norton LifeLock. Um, today I'm going to present my topic on hunting, analysis and detection of Android Stalkerware. Uh, let's get started. Um, Stalkerware applications are primarily used for tracking spouses, uh, friends, employees, etc. Uh, the application would be installed on a victim's device. Um, it will gather uh, sensitive data like your WhatsApp message, location details, and uh, transmit them to a remote location. Now, um, apart from transmitting the gathered data, uh, they also try to avoid attract uh, attracting users' attention by using different persistent techniques uh, like hiding icons prevent users from deleting the app. Where they can be found, um, Stalkerware applications are widespread and they are made available to public via Play Store, third-party app stores, uh, and directly sold from the vendor websites. Uh, Play Store removed most of the Stalkerware application, but uh, third-party app stores did not. Uh, they are still out there in the third-party app stores for anyone to download for free uh, and use it uh, for stalking the victims. Uh, in the next slides, let's see uh, some of the persistent techniques uh, used to buy those Stalkerware apps uh, taken from different app stores. Um, first one is APC Tools. Um, it is a parental control application from Play Store. Um, it can remotely track your location, SMS and call logs. Uh, the interesting part is the persistent technique used in the app. Uh, any attempts to uninstall the app uh, would take you away from the app info screen, uh, thereby, pre uh, thereby preventing the deletion of the app. Uh, this is achieved using the Perform Global Action method uh, from Accessibility Service class. Um, the Perform Global Action uh, with the uh, method with the argument one is a back press event. <coughs> Uh, second one is Hands, um, a location track, uh, tracking application from uh, third-party app store. Um, it silently transmits your uh, phone location details to a remote IP address of your choice. And uh, There are two malicious behavior. Um, the persistent technique is the application launcher imitating the settings icon. Uh, moreover, the application menu uh, can only be opened using a secret code which is uh, known only to the stalker. Uh, more examples on launcher icons. Um, on column one, uh, Tracker is another location tracking program. Uh, it transmits your location details to a remote uh, dashboard. Uh, the malicious behavior is that the application can hide the launcher icon uh, completely from the app drawer if you're using Android 9 or below. Uh, column two is an application from our in-house database. Um, and the suspicious behavior is that uh, the app goes unnoticed by using the transparent icon. Uh, last example is a spy cam application from a third party app store. Uh, it takes pictures or videos on a regular interval and transmits them to a configured email address. The pictures taken won't be visible in the gallery. Um, this is taken care by the .no media file. Uh, no media file is a hidden file. Um, the file is created by the application to avoid pictures or videos showing up in the gallery. Um, spy cams are still actively used. Uh, only in the last nine months, we had close to uh, 1,000 detections on different spy cam variants. Um, so these are some of the persistent techniques used by the stock of our apps. Um, in the next slides, we will see how to hunt them using search engine operators. Um, some of us could have used the search operators for debugging websites, penetration testing, and OS in hunting. Uh, we found that it can also be used for hunting stockware applications. Um, among the popular search engines, uh, Google provides the most number of search operators followed by Bing. Um, here are some examples for hunting potential stockware applications. Uh, you may check them all. Uh, what do you need exactly to do the hunting? Uh, the right search operators and keywords. Um, consider including the protocol details in your search queries. Uh, file type can also uh, come handy sometimes. Um, if you are looking for IOCs, you may use CSV or TXT file because usually they are published in those formats. Um, next, you need to gather keywords, uh, read application descriptions, package name, um, pay careful attention to the title and the content of uh, Stalkerware vendor websites. Um, Stalkerware apps also available in multiple languages, so uh, consider using languages uh, in your search queries. Well, uh, 
after you uh, after you have collected the search operators and keywords uh, we can uh, automate the hunting process uh, why automation uh, if you google uh, for uh, alternative if you google alternatives for a uh, play store you may spot five or ten other party app stores but in reality there are plenty of them uh, manually hunting stalkerware apps in all the app stores uh, will be a time consuming task um, we need an approach to hunt them program uh, programmatically that's where SERP api comes in Let's see a couple of examples on how to hunt stockware apps using search operators. Uh, use case one: uh, finding stockware vendor websites. Um, the related search operator can be useful for hunting stockware competitors. Uh, for instance, when related search operator is used in combination with the vendor URL, it presents us with a list of stockware competitors in the search results. Uh, Taking each of those URL and repeating the same steps may reveal potential stockware vendors. Uh, the same technique applies for collecting third-party app stores uh, URLs. A second use case: finding spy cams on app stores. Um, you can find potential app stores again using the same related search operator with an app store U uh, URL as input. Now take each app store URL and use it with the site operator plus keyword related to spy cam. Uh, it would get you the spy cam apps from uh, app stores. Uh, we did some uh, experiments with the search operators and SERP APIs. Uh, we did see a uh, related search operator was useful, but there are dra drawbacks to it. Uh, the related uh, operator did not work for uh, new stock web vendors. Um, Google uh, says related um, operator is not refreshed in uh, real time, meaning um, New stock where apps may not show up, uh, but may show up sometime later. Um, I read an article that it works for larger domains, and often vendor uh, vendor websites go out of business, and the newer ones may come up, and they are not indexed by search engine in real time. We also noticed uh, spam URLs popping up uh, after doing queries by combining uh, other search operators like Index of. Uh, here are some hints that may be helpful for hunting. Uh, run a search on Google for keywords related to spy uh, or vendor name and sometimes it presents us with the ads of popular phone tracking vendors. If you find the stockware vendors uh, Facebook page, scroll down uh, to check the related page. It might link you to other vendors pages. Um, the related search list at the end of the search page can also be useful. Um, if you are using search operators, it can help refine or expand your current query. Uh, searching for a vendor name sometimes reveals the stockware competitor names as well. Um, right above that, you may also spot the people also search for box that may link you sometimes to other stockware vendors. So that's it about hunting. Uh, let's move on to detection. Uh, we have seen majority of the stockware apps in the market uh, does not employ any code protection techniques. Um, most of the features like SMS, uh, recording, clipboard, etc. Uh, rely on the standard APIs uh, offered by these classes that leaves them vulnerable to static detection. Uh, social messaging ma apps are popular. Uh, these days, stockware applications also target, uh, target social messaging apps. When they do it, they track multiple social messenger applications. Uh, there are two techniques widely used to extract messages from them. Uh, one is directly accessing the private database files. Uh, the point to notice here is um, it is suspicious uh, when any app uses two or more database names of popular social messaging apps. Moreover, the m messaging apps database names uh, does not change often. We also noticed a similar implementation in Cat Watchful, uh, SP App, MSpy, FreeSpy, and uh, other vendors. Uh, the second implementation is by tapping the notification mes uh, by tapping the messages from notification. Um, instead of accessing the private files, the stockware apps extract messages from the notification. Um, similar implementation were also seen in TalkLog, FlexiSpy, MM Guardian, and Spicy vendors. Uh, this slide contains some of the sensitive and commonly used uh, methods, constants, and artifacts uh, found in the stockware applications. Um, the ad primary clip change listener is for clipboard, media projection for screen capturing, uh, no media is usually used in spy cams. Um, forensic artifacts, we have database names of WhatsApp, Facebook, and Viber. Uh, we can combine some of them and use it for detection. Uh, while using uh, DB names, um, use wildcard because implementation implementations are usually like slash data, slash data, com WhatsApp, and file path. So to sum up, uh, change the sensitive method names, um, class names, and when you include forensic artifacts, uh, 
Linux files constants used in the application, it would make the detection stronger. Moreover, the Android API constants and artifacts don't change often. Uh, we have tested this method and it was effective in detecting complex Docker apps, fuse, uh, spyware and rat variants. Uh, about drawback, uh, the technique does not work for simple programs like tracker application. Uh, it may go, it may cause wrong classification if used. And apparently the technique would fail if the app used any code protection techniques. Uh, let's see a quick demo uh, using the Android Code Python library. Uh, the POC is a quite straightforward implementation. All the indicators are uh, defined in a JSON file. Uh, the commonly used and uh, sensitive API calls, artifacts, uh, Linux files, etc. Uh, the the classes, methods, uh, constants used in the application uh, can be obtained using the Android God analysis object. Uh, now all the indicators defined in the JSON file uh, will be run over a loop. Uh, to check if they are present in the app. Um, if they are found, the next step is uh, evaluation. Um, the logic class uh, takes care of it. It checks for suspicious patterns like an app cannot use two or more database names of popular messaging apps and others based on our guidelines. And then it locks the verdict on the console. Uh, I'm, I'm going to use uh, uh, Exynos Talkware application for the demo. Okay, uh, the cross reference for each method is also logged on the console and uh, finally the verdict uh, along with the stock aware type. Uh, with that we come to the last section of the talk. Uh, stock aware threat list is a platform for sharing samples, metadata uh, related to stock aware applications. Uh, currently, we have several AV vendors, universities, and independent researchers uh, contributing to this platform. Of course, they can all see and download the samples from the portal. Um, if you are an AV vendor or university or independent researcher working on stock aware topic, we cordially invite you to join us. Um, please follow the link. Uh, we can we can get in touch with you. Uh, we would also like to take this moment and thank all the members and contributors uh, for your contributions. Uh, it really helped us in the research. Uh, this was an uh, interesting uh, find reported by one of our contributors, Amrita University. Um, it is a simple application that guides a user to download a stock aware program uh, called Mobile Tracker. Um, even though Google removed stock aware apps from Play Store, uh, developers are finding uh, ways to spread stock aware programs uh, through Play Store, and this app is an example. Uh, Play Store has a huge customer base. Um, the developer is using Play Store as a platform uh, for advertising his stock aware application. If you notice the comments, uh, developer is requesting the user to avoid using inappropriate uh, words in the comments because uh, it might get uh, the app removed from Play Store. Oh, this is a general advice, and with this slide, we will wrap up this talk. Um, if you have uh, if you have any of these apps installed on your phones, pay attention and learn the capabilities of the apps because these apps can be used for stalking purpose. Um, if you spot uh, two popular applications, you know, like if you have two Play Store icons on your phone that's suspicious, uh, take steps to remove them or contact antivirus helpline. Um, upgrade your Android versions to 10 or 11 because icon hiding is not allowed anymore on Android versions about 10. Um, Make sure play protect settings are enabled. Um, often stock aware application disable play protect settings before they get installed. Um, make sure you have knowledge about the apps installed on your phone. Um, what permissions are given to them. Uh, stock aware apps uh, target device admin and uh, notification access privilege. Um, these are only limited advice, uh, but we highly recommend you to install uh, antivirus programs on your phone. Thanks for your time. Uh, if you have any question, uh, questions, shoot them away.